Hi guys, it's me again. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video, please. In today's video, I am going to be teaching you guys how to make a tattoo stencil. Y'all have been requesting me to do this video since I started doing my tattoo videos. So thank you all for being patient. It's finally here. Okay, here's everything that you're going to need to make your stencil. First and foremost, you need your stencil paper, okay? You're gonna need a pen. This is the kind that I use. You're gonna need a printer. I use the HP DeskJet 3752. Um, it just connects to my phone and I'm able to print off my design and it works perfect. Now you don't necessarily need a printer to do a stencil. That's only if you create your stencils like on an iPad and you have to print it off and then re um, trace it over the stencil paper, but if you just have a design that you have already sketched on paper Then you can just retrace it that way. You don't necessarily need a printer and the next thing you need is printer paper obviously So right now I'm just going on my printer app and I am printing off the design the tattoo that I'm going to be doing is for my best friend she actually sent me this design it's not my original design she just got it off the internet somewhere but i'm gonna print it off in the specific size that she wants and then i will show you guys how i create it into a stencil i'm gonna facetime her really quick to see if this size is gonna be good for her Okay, hold on. Let me show you the design. Um, you think that's going to be a good size? It's like the size of my hand. Yeah, that's like perfect, I feel like. Okay, cool. Perfect. Okay, so she really liked how big I did it. So, this is what she's getting. It's a little kitty with some flowers. It's definitely um, my style that I like to tattoo in, which is really nice. Um, but she did get this offline somewhere. Again, this is not my work. Um, so now I'm just going to take the stencil paper and when you peel it back, there's gonna be a separate sheet here. You can draw your stencil over the top of this. Like you can keep this paper on here and then put your paper on top of it and trace it that way and it'll transfer onto this sheet this sheet is easier to like transfer onto the skin for sure, but I never use it. I always just use the printer paper and put it directly over the top of the sheet here. And now all I'm gonna do is trace the design over the top of the transfer paper and it should come off on the opposite side of the paper. All I'm doing is tracing the outlines of the tattoo. You don't have to trace the shading you have to freehand the shading make sure you're applying enough pressure so the stencil will come off on the other side like so And don't try to rush doing your stencil because this is pretty much what you're going to be tracing on the person's skin. So you want to make sure that everything is perfect and exactly how you want it to be.
looks like after I just got done stenciling it. It's so cute. I'm so excited to tattoo this on her and add shading. I think it's going to be such a cute tattoo for her. She's dedicating this to her kitten that passed away recently. And he was the cutest little thing. I'm going to add a couple of little details and look at a picture of her kitten and add some of the spots that he had. But yeah, guys, this is what your stencil should look like. It should look super dark, just like this. But yeah, guys, if you want to see me tattoo this on my best friend, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to be uploading it in the next week or so because I'm going to her house this weekend to do it for her. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any video requests, go ahead and comment them down below or any questions for me, feel free to comment all of that down below and I will definitely answer you. But yeah guys, I will see y'all in my next video. Peace and love.